Good evening. Guys, my name is Mac Guillen, and I live in Lexington, Mississippi. This weekend, I actually strayed away from the SPRA. I got pulled away from it just a little bit, but it's for a great cause, and it's for the future of professional rodeo. I'm down at Meet, Louisiana, at your Mississippi High School Rodeo Association Rodeo. I'm sitting here with the fabulous Miss Molly Ray Kitchen from Tickfall, Louisiana, and I'm going to introduce you to her in a minute. You know, last weekend, uh, the SPRA had a ton of opportunities for the Cowboys and Cowgirls, and the third and final stop teamed the SPRA up with Mr. Shelby Bearden and Bearden Pro Rodeo Company with a tri-state rodeo in Galvin, Mississippi. It was the 2021 Copaya County 4-H Rodeo, and here is how the action went. In the bareback, we waded across the muddy Mississippi River over to the Bayou State of Louisiana and recruited the Bronx Stomper, Mr. Luke Thrash. Now, Luke is a 2020 SPFR qualifier. He's the 2019 TSRA bareback champion. The Cowboy is sitting number two in the SPRA standings right now. He came in there. Dude, the money is in the main. The shaps were flopping and popping. The judges tallied up the score, 76 points to earn Luke the win in the bareback. That took us to the tie-down calf roping, the event that gets used on working ranches every single day of the week. The old veteran, I'm telling you, the man that has been in probably the top 20 cowboys in the southeast since he was 18 years old. I'm talking about Terry Mississippi's own Mr. Bart Brunson, probably one of the most decorated Cowboys in the southeast of his age bracket that there is. 9.4 took him to the pay window for a third place check. Then we went up to Cooperville, Mississippi's Austin Davis. Now, Austin, for years, Austin rode this gray horse. Uh, his name was Tick. It was, I always said, it, it was my favorite horse in calf roping going up and down the road anywhere. Tick's in his retirement years, and I still think about him all the time. But horse, uh, you know, horses are so essential and getting the right training. And I'm going to tell you, Austin has put some training on this new horse he's got. His name is Sledge. He's been riding him a couple of years. I believe I saw him win Cleveland, Mississippi two years ago on this horse when he was just getting started on him. But Austin Davis comes in on Sledge. 8.8 .8 seconds ties them up a win uh, on the second place side and the check back to Cooperville, Mississippi. Then the bad man himself, Mr. Cyrus Marshall, 8.6 to get the win in the calf roping. That took us to the pretty cowgirls on the American Quarter Horses, breaking the ropes away from the saddle horn. These are your breakaway roping results. Uh, Ms. Brooke Ladner from Poplarville, Mississippi, boy, she split a fourth place win there with Hattiesburg's own Ms. Kaylee Trailer. And you'll need to remember both of those names. Those girls are young, and they are up and coming, and they are what you call bad. Then we went to Newton, Mississippi's own Miss A.J. Griffith. She is your 2019 SPRA champion. 2.7 took her to the third place pay window. Pelahatchee, Mississippi offered us up Miss Audrey Corley. And then Audrey came in there and offered up a 2.6 to get her a second place win. And that's when the magic happened. Right there. That's when the magic happened. Now, the first place win was smoking, dude. 2.5 seconds for the first place. And it was split. It was split between this cowgirl right here and the amazing Ms. Alden Ashton from uh, down in South Florida. But she is a University of West Alabama Tiger Wrangler. Alden is sitting number three in the SPRA standings right now. This is Miss Molly Ray Kitchen. She lives in Tickfall, Louisiana. Dude, she's a senior in high school, just about to finish up her high school career. Uh, Molly Ray, dude, how was it? I mean, when you can hang in there with somebody like Alden Ashton, you're doing something right. Tell me about your run. Oh, it was great. I was second to last out in the slack, and I knew the calf that I drew was not one to win it or split first on, but I'd made my mind up. I was running at the barrier and my horse put me where I needed to be right there and he worked great. 
I was a 2.5. 2.5 to split first. Congratulations on your win. Dude, she's seen a lot of success on the world stage early in life. She she made her way a couple of years ago as like a, a freshman or sophomore out to the Lazy E, the fabulous Lazy E in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And when she left, she took home everything that they could possibly give her. And she, you know, she's just a joy to be around. Y'all want to write that name down. Let's go to the team roping right now. Now, I just introduced you to Miss Molly Ray. I'm going to tell you about the third place win in the team roping. The experienced veteran from Tickfall, Louisiana, the elder statesman, her daddy, Mr. Steve Kitchen, he teamed up with the young buck from Poplarville, Mississippi. Bryce Graves is your 2019 high school national champion. They were 6.9 to get in there to the pay window. Then we went to Clark Gordon and Preston Day. Dude, Clark is another one of those young guys. You'll see him at the University of West Alabama next year. Um, he's doing a lot of great roping. Uh, he teamed up with Preston Day. Clark is your reigning Little Bridges world champion, and they came in there and put down a 5-9 to get second. But when I tell you the team that beat them, when those boys beat you and they're the only ones better than you, then it's okay. I'm talking about the brother duo from Terry, Mississippi. Bart Brunson teamed up with his brother Wes Brunson, and it was so good to see Wes back, you know, in the rodeo arena. Five flat got those boys the win there in Gallman. We're going to wind it up with Pretty Cowgirls and the Lightning Fast American Quarter Horses in the barrel racing. Miss Kerrigan Cagley, Kentwood, Alabama, she snuck into the pay window with a 17-029. And your former TSRA high school champion, Ms. Leah Thompson, was a 16-993. Gracie Guillory, 16-987 to pull up, pull up a check. Ms. Wendy Warren was a 16-821 for that third place win. And then the young talent from Brandon, Mississippi, Kara Beth Calhoun. Dude, she is going to be bad. When I say young, I'm talking about like junior high young. And she laid down a smoke in 16, 5, 36 to take home second. Winning the barrel racing, getting around three cans and laying down a smoke in time of 16, 472 was Presley Smith. Dude, that's how all the action shook out over there. During the whole rodeo, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shelby Bearden recruited the biggest little man in rodeo. I'm talking about the one and only Josh pork chop Garrick and when I say he's funny that guy can walk across the arena and make you laugh I love working with Josh he's like a two-time SPFR funny man of the year uh, Josh keep up the great work as always and I'm looking forward to Moundville Alabama at the end of this month and me and you getting to do our thing together guys my name is Mac again and I live in Lexington Mississippi and you are Molly Ray Kinchin from Tickfall, Louisiana. And we are on the road with the SPRA. Y'all come see us.